We're here with John Sunalot, CTO of Sistran. John, Sistran is a global pioneer in the neuro machine translation space uh, and also in machine translation with over 40 years' experience. What are some of the ma neuro machine translation technology you see in the marketplace now and uh, w how would you rate their adoption? Just one year and a half of uh, experience and, and NMT maturity, we have seen already three major types of technology in uh, NMT. The first one uh, is called RNN and it's based on recurrence. It's like when you read a sentence word by word and at the end of the sentence you try to remember what you have read. The second one has been brought by Facebook, it's called based on CNN. And it's more a global view of the sentence, where you read the sentence, but you don't really read the world. You get, catch the global meaning. And the last one, which is the most promising today because it gives us the best score, is called the transformer from Google Research. And it gives um, a sentence specific attention to different world of the sentence. What I believe is that this technology to, uh, today uh, are just a beginning. And probably the three approaches are very interesting together. We'll see them mixed. And probably, considering the space of everything, there will be a new approach that will be coming in the next months that will be changing against the, the technology offering. In these approaches, you've mentioned that, uh, such as Google and Facebook, have, they've made their offerings available. So what is the open source dynamic uh, in machine translation and its current adoption? The first, the open source is necessary for this technology. What we need to understand is that any of these algorithms is very small. It's 4,000 lines of code, and any student master can do that, master student can do that in just a weekend. Okay. So it's not just the question of having the best technology, it's a question of having the latest technology and having the biggest community that can test and that can improve the community. So open source is a need there. In that. Okay, so if you need a, a large community that suggests an enterprise approach, and therefore, um, what are some of the models you've seen develop beyond open source? Beyond open source, there is a lot of possible models. So we are trying to models like service-based model based on open source. Uh, we have some, we are helping today some competitors, which is amazing. <laughs> and, uh, but uh, there is also something bigger, I think, that NMT is becoming a commodity. Mm. And what we are doing in open source with NMT today is just the basis and the, the bedrock for what we build tomorrow. And this will be all the other NLP technology based on this amazing and old technology. Excellent. Thank you very much, John. Thank you.